Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Hey, what's wrong with you, man? You ain't subscribed yet? IUIC Atlanta Burning 2.0. What you waiting on? Get it done. Do it now. Hey, get them clicks, get them likes, and subscribe. Do it now. What's your name, big brother? Harris. Come here, Mr. Harris. When I'm showing our people, the Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, first, that we are a chosen people of God. Hey. We are the greatest people that's on this earth, and we have been reduced for nothing going into Christianity. Right. Do you believe in the Bible? Bring it up. You believe in the Bible? You believe in Christ? Well, what color is he? He's black? Okay. Okay, he's black. So where do we read that at? This is something that we gotta know. Now that's good. That's a humble answer. That's a humble answer. This is why we are here to show our people the truth. That's right. Because a lot of our people don't know that he's black. Right. A lot of our people in their mind, when they pray, they pray into this white image. Bring it up. You understand? And, you, and subconsciously, my brother, you are following this white image. Bring it up. You're not actually following the same God that's in your mind that you say he's black. Because if you was, you'll be keeping the commandments. Right. And we're gonna show right. you. Watch this. Give me that. Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1, the revelation of Jesus Christ. Listen to this, bro. This is the revealing of the Jesus the Christ. Watch this, read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. Which God gave unto John to show to his servants. Look around. You see these blacks and Hispanics? These are the servants of God. These are the servants of God. These are the ones that's waking up teaching the truth all over the four corners of the earth. And he said in these last days, I want you to show my image to my servants. Watch this. We jump down to verse 10. Verse 10. Watch this. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day Go ahead. and heard behind me. This is John. He said I was in the spirit and I heard behind me. Rick. A great voice as of a trumpet saying, I am Apple and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou see what you see, John, write in a book. Why did he have to tell John what you see with your eyes? I want you to write this down in a book. That's right. He had to tell John that because he understood in years, generations to come, this image was going to be plastered all over the walls, all over the cathedrals. Hold it up high. This was the image that was going to be in the people's minds. So he told John, what you see, John, I want you to write it in a book. And I want you to show to my servants in the last days. Read verse 14. Watch what he showed. Verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. That's the first thing John wrote down. He said his head and his hairs were white like wool. If you look at your hair, my, my, my sir. Your hair is starting to turn from a gray to fully white. That's right. So Christ had white, fully white wool. Who on earth has woolly hair? Bring it up. The blacks. Right. You blacks and Hispanics. We got white, woolly hair. No other nation can claim that they got woolly hair. This image right here, this is not what John's seen. Right. You got hippies that run around with uh, dreadlocks. Right. They try to lock their hair up like us. That's not woolly hair. That is matted. He hyena hair. You understand? This is yeah. not what John saw. Read. Watch this. Read it again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. He said his head and his hairs were white like wool. You want to put that wool in your mind because he's, he's describing the texture of his hair. Watch this. Read. As white as snow. He said it was as white as snow. Go ahead. Pure white. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Then he said his eyes was like a flame of fire. Look at this man's eyes. Is his eyes as a flame of fire? Last time I checked, this was a blue-eyed devil. That's the last time I checked. Blue-eyed devil. You see this? They put this image up in your face. With, it didn't even change. A lot of people say they try to change the Bible. The description of Christ is in the Bible, but they put this image in your face because they think you're stupid. Because they know black people won't read. Black people won't comprehend that Christ looks like us. He said his eyes was red. Why is his eyes red? When we drink a little wine in moderation, what happened to our eyes? They turn red. You understand? That's how he was describing Christ. Read, come on. And his feet. Like unto fine brass. Then he looked at his feet. He said his feet was like fine brass. Go ahead. 
as if they burned in a furnace. His feet was like fine brass as it's been burned in a furnace. Now your feet match the rest of the complexion of your body. Right. So if his feet was like fine brass that burned in a furnace, charcoal black like the color of your shirt, what color was Christ? He was a black man. That's so why did they put this image up all over the cathedrals, all over the churches? Why are they painting this all in the Bibles? Why are they doing this? This is a lie because they know black people don't read. Right. That is one of the curses that happened to the Israelites. Right. If you want to hide anything from a Negro, where you put it? In a book. Right. In a book. Right. You understand? Because this is psychological warfare that's being planted on our people. Right. Give me that in uh, 1 Maccabees chapter 3, verse 48. I think it is. Yeah, yes, sir. I went over there to Kamala Harris and stayed this past Tuesday. Okay. When we went to Kamala Harris thing. I spit my tongue out and said, the number 45 dollars are going to kill my buddy in 2017. Now, he said that he went to the Kamala Harris uh, convention. When was it last Thursday? It was over there. Same thing with Trump right now. Now, you got to think about this. Let's Kamala go. Harris now, Kamala hold on, brother. Harris, my Kamala Harris, Harris came to Georgia to play a game on you blacks. Bring it up. Bring it up. Kamala Harris has been Indian her whole damn life. She ain't never said that she black the whole time that she was a Senate, Eternal General out there in California. She ain't never said that she black. As soon as all of a sudden uh, Donald Trump get the lead, they try to put Kamala Harris out in front and say, you know what, this is a black woman. Again, they are so not intelligence because they think that you're going to vote for this woman because she's black. But I'm going to tell you something else. Give me Deuteronomy 17, verse 15, I think. Yeah. The Bible says we ain't supposed to be voting. We ain't supposed to be even involved in no Republican, no Democratic, no Independent, because they ain't done nothing for us. Every four years, the damn Democrats say we're going to give you Negroes liberation. We're going to give you Negroes tax breaks. What happened? You know what happened? Don't a damn thing happen. Right. Donald Trump came out and said, nigga, vote for me. What all do you have to lose? Right. Because he know ain't nothing going to change. Right. You Negroes going to be in the same bottom of society. Right. Why? Because you're breaking God's laws. God did not tell you to vote another nation over you. You had no business at the damn Kamala Harris convention. That's right. And I'm going to show you out the Bible. Read what you got. Deuteronomy. Chapter 7 and verse 15. Read it. Hold on, brother. Listen to this, brother. Listen. Hey, Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose. The Bible says you set the king who he chose. Right. Who is the king that the Lord our God has chose? He chose Christ. That's That's right. Right. That is the king that we're supposed to put over us. to come up and say, you know what, now I'm black. Right. Everybody is black when it benefits them. Kim Kardashian ain't black, but when she know that she can, she can uh, bewitch you black sisters, right. have braids in her hair, right. oh, right. now we black. Right. Now I'm black now. Right. You understand? Who else? Uh, Candace, uh, what was her name? Candace Owens. She ain't declared, she's married to a whole white man. Right. She right. been freaking mixed her whole damn life right. till she got fired from her podcast. Right. She get fired from her podcast, she go on the whole black media Bring campaign. Right. Now she at uh, Joe Button's podcast, right. the Breakfast Club podcast, right. talking about she's black. She right. No, she's not black. She, black. she, she until she repent, she she's a dark-skinned Englishman. Says you got to choose one from among your brethren. Yes. One from among your brethren. Yes. Read, let's go. Shall thou set king over thee? Listen to this, big brother. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee. Read it again. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee. Read it again. Joshua 6. Thou mayest not. Joshua 6. Let's go. Set a stranger. Set a stranger over thee. Over thee. Read it again. Thou shalt not, thou shalt not, set a stranger, set a stranger, over thee, over thee. That is a law. 
We ain't supposed to settle stranger over us. Right. Why? Because the stranger's not gonna look out for your best. Right. Right. The stranger ain't gonna change no damn laws for your people. Right. We've been getting shot down and killed intensified since they voted Obama in there. Right. Right. You understand? Because we set strangers over us. You understand? This is a curse that happened to the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Our people are bugged out. It's high time you come back. Right. Give me that Leviticus right quick. Leviticus, uh, give me the beer. You know what I want? 21 and I think it's five. Let's get that. We trying to show you, little brother. We trying to show you. You got to repent and come back to God's law. Right. 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 This is why all these atrocities are happening to us. Because we're not repenting. We ain't keeping God's laws. We might know that Christ is black, but we following the white man. The white man told us to shave our beards off our face to call us what? Boy. Boy. Because when you don't have a beard on your face, this is your manly dignity. When you don't have a beard on your face, now you can be referred to as boy. You look like a child. That's what separates the damn lion. He, the king of the jungle, ain't running around without a man. Bring it up. Bring it up. How you? How can you tell the difference from the king and the queen? Because he has a beard. That's right. right. The white man understand that. That's why he wants you to be clean shaven. You understand? And when you shave, you break out because you ain't supposed to be doing all that. That's a curse on the twelve tribes. Read what you got. Leviticus chapter twenty-one and verse five. Bring it up. They shall not make baldness upon their heads. This is one of the laws. It said, "Don't make baldness upon our heads." Like Michael Jack, uh, Michael uh, Jordan, Michael uh, what's, what's the other one? Uh, uh, Charles Barkley, Kenny Smith, uh, Shaquille O'Neal. All the damn entertainers, the black entertainers. When they get to a certain point, they put them out in front. They got bald heads right. and a shaven face. You know. That's so that that can appease the so-called white man. Right. So they can look at the black man. Okay, nigga, you ain't a threat. A threat. You understand? That's why they want you to shave your face. That's right. Watch this, read. Neither shall they, and again, come on, say with they me. shall not make bonus upon their head. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Say, don't shave off the corner of your beard. Give me John 14, 15. Yeah. Don't shave off the corners of your beard. Keep your dignity about yourself. Right. That's a law. So when we break these laws, what happened to us? We go on cargo slave ships. Right. 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 What happened to us? We at the damn Kamala Harris convention. Right. right. Talking about we gonna vote black. We vote for this system. And then you come out. I just thought about it. Kamala Harris brought damn Megan a what is her name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Megan a style into the convention and shaking her behind. Right. Now I know my ladies in the crowd love their body. Real hot girls. And if you want to keep loving your body, you know who to vote for. Megan Thee Stallion kicked off Vice President Kamala Harris's campaign event in Atlanta, getting the crowd hyped. Twerking on the damn convention. When have you ever seen that? You black women should be ashamed. Right. Y'all should be embarrassed right. that this woman could play on your damn mental string chords and bring a damn entertainer to shake her behind at the convention. You understand? But we don't even think like that because we lost in America. Right. Right. What you got? John chapter 14 and verse 15. Come on, you know? If ye love me, if you what? If ye love me, do you love Christ? Okay, watch what he say. Read it again. If ye love me, keep my commandments. What's the stipulation of loving Christ? What's the stipulation? Read it again for the brother. If ye love me, if, 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 if you love him, read, keep my commandments. What's the stipulation? You got to keep the commandments. Right. Right. You got to keep a beard on your face. Right. Right. Wear fringes on your clothes. Right. Keep the Sabbath day. Right. Right. Everything that this so-called white man has taught us is lies. Right. Right. Lies. You might as well reverse everything that he said. He tell, tell you to shave your face, you keep the beard on your right. face. Right. He tell you to go to church on Sunday, guess what? We On the last day of the week, Christ said go to church on the seventh day. He tell you to go to church on the first day. Right. That's a lie. Right. You understand? You can't read that in the Bible. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.
Mission is you. And fire!